The distinctive and idiosyncratic appeal of spongeware pottery is the result of a decorative technique that was first developed in the 19th century. At that time, the cut root of a natural sponge was used to create patterns on china. Today, we use normal synthetic sponge, the sort that your sofa cushions might be made from. Emma or Matthew draws a pattern in our decorating studio upstairs, which is then brought down to the factory to be cut into sponges by hand, using a soldering iron. Rita cuts the majority of the sponges that are used in the Bridgewater factory. There are 20 decorators in the studio and each of them will have trained for a month or two before their pieces are good enough to go into production. They will sponge patterns onto the pieces known as biscuit and because the biscuit is so absorbent, the paint will be absorbed into the pottery immediately. There's no room for mistakes and each piece is completely unique. Some of the girls will pick the technique up faster than others, but when they've learned the job, they can all work on all the patterns. It can take about a year to get confident enough to decorate any piece, as each piece of spongeware is hand-decorated, sometimes using several different sponges and lots of different colours. Our polka dot pattern uses five different colours and hellebore uses four. Egg and feather is the most time-consuming, as it uses six different colours and over a dozen sponges. Some of the patterns are more tricky to sponge than others. Everyone loves Union Jack, but the pattern caused our decorators a big headache to start with, as the design is fiddly and geometrically demanding. It took a couple of months of experimentation to get it just right. <laughs> 